Hello, welcome to the Tarot Cottage. I want to welcome you. If you are a returning subscriber, I want to welcome you back. If you're finding yourself on this channel for the first time, I want to welcome you here with open arms. Um, I do daily pick a card readings here Monday to, through Friday. I do messages for soulmates and separation on Sundays. So please pull up a chair and grab yourself a cup of tea and we'll have a chat because we're all friends at my table. If you are one of my returning subscribers, I want to thank you especially for returning, for being a part of my community and for supporting each other and me in such a loving and wonderful way. So thank you for being here. I appreciate you. Today's pick a card reading is an urgent love message from the person on your mind. What do they want to say to you? Um, it can be anybody that you're thinking about. It can be an ex, someone you're dating, um, someone in no contact. It doesn't really matter who is on your mind, but we're looking at an urgent love message from them today. We have three piles in front of you. We have pile number one with the sodalite and the dark purple carnation. We have pile number two with the clear quartz, or that's a rose quartz, and the green carnation. And we have pile number three with the red jasper and the pink carnation today. So if you already know what piles or piles, pile or piles are calling out to you today, just know that a message may be waiting. Um, my timestamps will be listed below as always. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into pile number one. I do not like wasting time. So let's get right into it. An urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you? Hello, Pile One. Thank you for joining me today at my table. You guys were drawn to this gorgeous purpley carnation, the sodalite, and the purple deck. So this is your urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you? What do they want you to know? Urgent love message from Spirit today. So we have the Ten of Wands to start. So somebody's feeling really passionate about you. We're going to draw some cards and then get some clarifiers. And then we're going to talk about what they all mean. Urgent love message, the magician. Urgent love message, the knight of cups. Some beautiful, strong energies here. Clarifying that ten of wands. We've got the four of wands. Beautiful energy. Clarifying the magician. The Ace of Cups. Clarifying the Knight of Cups. The Page of Swords. And on the back of the deck, we have the Ace of Swords. So an urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you today? So if we start at the back of the deck here, they want to say, you know what? I've gained a lot of clarity on my feelings for you. Um, I really kind of want some truth to come out because I've been maybe hiding some of these feelings for you. I feel the connection. I feel how strong it is. We have this 10 of wands. I have so much passion for you that I feel like it's boiling up over the surface and I have nowhere to put it. Um, this could be a no contact situation for some of you because we have this magician sitting in the middle and the magician is um, the communication card. Whenever it comes up, I think of somebody who wants to reach out <laughs> to you and talk with you. And what they want to talk to you about is offering you this love offer. This Knight of Cups brings forward this beautiful love offer. So they are saying to you, you know, I really want to talk with you. I want to extend this offer of love. I don't even really have a complete plan of when I get there. The Knight doesn't always have that confidence or a plan of action after the fact. He plans on galloping in with all of those abundant love offers and then just seeing where it goes. But they have a lot of passion that they've been wielding for a really long time and it's becoming overwhelming, it's becoming a burden, um, and they're kind of finished with that feeling. They really want to communicate and kind of conjure up some movement here. Um, and part of the movement, I feel like they want to offer this emotional new start here with this Ace of Cups. Beautiful, beautiful love offer, the Ace of Cups offers something beautiful, offers something valuable, and they sense the deep connection here because of this, you know, Four of Wands. They really want to have success with you to celebrate with you maybe they understand the depth of the spiritual connection that you guys find yourselves in this could be a twin flame type of soulmate type of energy i'm going to get a little clarity on that four of wands okay so we have the seven of swords i feel like they've been hiding these feelings for you um for a while 
We have the Eight of Swords, or sorry, the Eight of Cups. So they've been holding these feelings secret. The Eight of Cups, you think of that traditional Eight of Cups with the moon in the background and someone's walking away from that. It's about walking away from fear, walking away from um, hiding your true feelings. And they have been hiding these feelings for you, which is part of the reason why it's become such a burden for them, because they can't release any of it. They have been hiding these feelings for you, and I feel like they're watching you. If you're not in contact with this person currently, they are watching your social media with the Page of Swords. Excuse me for swallowing loudly. Um, but that Page of Swords doesn't have a lot of confidence. He comes in kind of impetuously with truth, kind of throws the truth in your face, and then he has no plan. He kind of lets you sit in that truth. So I feel like they're watching you, but they don't have much of a plan yet. They just really want to open up communication. They really want to offer you that start. Let's get a little more clarity. How is this person currently thinking, feeling about you? An urgent love message from them. What do they want to say? What do they want to say to you? Pile number one, the Queen of Cups. They want to offer you so much love. So unmatched is the amount of love that the Queen of Cups has that normally she has a lid on her bowl. And look at how confident this queen is. She carries her cup on her head with full confidence that her grace, her compassion, her beauty is going to not literally not spill a drop because she's so poised. And that's how they view you, this beautiful queen, abundant, full of love, waiting to be offered. And they also, also want to offer that as well to you. <laughs> King of Pentacles, security. They're saying, you know, I want to give you everything. I want to offer you, ultimately, I want to give you love, compassion, understanding, but I want to be the boss. I want to, I want to make sure that you're taken care of. I want to offer you an emotional start, but I want that emotional start to expend, extend to your physical life. I want to be the boss in your life. I want to to keep you comfortable. We have the tower. But I worry if I come forward that without my plan of action, because I like having a plan, I worry that if I come forward right now, I'm going to, um, my lack of planning is going to cause a disruption in your life. I feel like I can't come forward right this moment. I'm scared to move forward with you. Um, and I'm kind of waiting around for the universe to kind of make a way for me. We have the wheel of fortune. You know, I'm, I'm waiting for the perfect timing to come in. I'm, you know, the wheel of fortune is a sign of sometimes sudden change. So is the tower. The tower is a sign of uncontrolled chaos coming in. And the wheel of fortune is like a sudden change that's faded. So it's like they, they don't want to risk it by coming in too soon. But they're waiting for the universe to make that way. They're waiting. They're trying to formulate a clear plan of action because on the back of the deck we have that ace of cups again you know a sign from spirit that this is something that mirrored energy is represented when i see these two cards coming out side by side like this when i see them coming out together and it's just spirit really tr trying to drive the point home that this offer is something that this person really wants to offer you they really want to give you that emotional start but they do have fear holding them back Get some clarity on the tower card, please, Spirit. What are their fears? So we have the nine of so you know the nine of wands very apt here. Um, we had that ten of wands starting out your reading, and the nine you know you're almost to the finish line. You've been carrying this burden for such a long time that it's almost becoming, you're almost getting kind of standoffish when it comes to this connection. You're scared to move forward because you don't have that you know, definite plan or that definite promise of, of being accepted if that offer comes through. So you don't want to put any of the ones down. This person doesn't want to release themselves, but they just, they want some closure. They want some relief, but they're scared to do so. They have a lot of fear holding them back. The devil here, a lot of fear holding them back. Um, and the devil card is a card that comes out when your spirit guides are kind of asking you to kind of put away fear or any sort of addiction that's holding you back. And addiction, addiction can come in a lot of forms. It can come in the form of, you know, um, drugs, alcohol, sex, uh, being obsessed with a person, being obsessed with an idea, like types of addiction. You know, there's so many different types of addiction, gambling, 
Um, it's Spirit's way of asking you to kind of let go of some of those things that are holding you back. And this person, I feel like, really worries that if they come in and reveal that passion, once they say it, they can't take it back. And that's a scary thing for them with that devil energy. Capricorn energy really represented here. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past. I, as I said with that ace, I feel like they're watching your social media. They're looking at your pictures from the past. You know, this person has deep love for you. They really want to offer, they want a new start, but they don't feel like they're good enough. Frustrated. They're getting really frustrated. They have a lack of confidence. So they kind of, they have fear and ego issues. And that's really where the devil comes in. That's really where the tower comes in. You know, they have fear holding them back from all of this deep love, this deep amount of feeling that they feel towards you. I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. They want to date you. It feels like someone from your past where you never had a relationship with them. It really feels kind of innocent, kind of young energy here. Mask, not showing their true feelings. We have a lot of mask in imagery, especially in this deck, the romance deck. Um, a lot of mask imagery here. And I feel like they're not showing their true colors with you. If you are in communication with them, they are kind of maybe portraying this, this feeling of having all the control and feeling really stable in their life. And the King of Pentacles also doesn't wear his emotions on his sleeve either. It's important to mention that, you know, they kind of hide their feelings a little bit and focus on the task at hand, focus on leadership, focus on that security that they want to offer. So they are wearing masks in their life. They aren't showing that fear. Stay optimistic. It's a call from spirit for this person to kind of step out of their um, comfort zone. We have deception. Someone's wearing a mask. We were just talking about that. And I feel like it's easy to put on a mask of nonchalance when you're scared. You deserve love. You are lovable. If you have feelings of self, um, feelings of self-lack, Spirit wants you to stop that. <laughs> passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. A lot of passion is represented by that devil card for me as well. There's a lot of sexual energy wrapped up in the devil. So I just feel like this person wants to express it. We have that ten of wands. Passion is boiling over the surface. It's becoming a burden for this person. And we have very soon. There could be movement here. In your first pile, you had that beautiful magician and the knight of cups. These are movement cards, you guys. These are signs from spirit that this person could come towards you. Whoops. The energy is starting to gain some momentum. And that's how I was asking spirit as I shuffled, you know, when is this going to come to fruition? When are they coming forward? This is gaining momentum. They're starting to pluck up some courage, you know, kind of the courage of the page of swords, that young type of feeling. Like when you're 16, you get your license for the first time and you're not scared. But if you did it when you were 40, you'd be like really trepid, have a lot of trepidation. You know, this person is starting to gain momentum. Your hard work is going to pay off here. You and your loved ones are safe because luck is on your side. And it's not just about luck. It's about fate. The Wheel of Fortune is a faded card. The Wheel of Fortune is about union. It's about change. It's about destiny. Now, what does this person want to say to you? What is the love message, the specific love message for you? What do they want to say to you? An urgent love message from your person. I am haunted by this connection. I want you to know that I'm haunted by us. I think about you all the time. I don't know how to move forward. I just lost one on the floor, but I'll keep going <laughs> as I pick it up. Sorry about the wiggle. Don't give up on us, please. I want to come forward. I want to open up communication. If we're not in communication, I, I'm coming. I'm just trying to quench some of these fears because you take my breath away and it makes me feel like I'm not good enough for you. I didn't realize I loved you until you had already walked away from us. 
and I didn't get the chance to express myself. I didn't quite understand the connection either, and now I feel myself still feeling jealous over this connection. As I'm watching your social media, I'm seeing you living your best life, and it's it's hard for me to see because I want to be a part of it, and I also want you to know that I am so tired of not speaking with you. But I've got something holding me back, and it's fear. Fear is really holding me back. Afraid of rejection. I've been learning to live without you during this time apart and trying to better myself, but I want you to know that I love you and I will always love you. There's a connection here. I don't quite understand it. We have that four of wands, twin flame type of energy being represented. They want to know, will you wait for me? Will you wait for me to pluck up the courage to come towards you? Um, because I really do feel like we are meant to be together. I do feel like there is something special about this connection, but I know that timing has never been our strong suit here. And I, I want you to know that I am, as I'm tired of waiting too. Like even though I'm scared, I'm still tired of waiting and I want to explore this connection with you. I just want you to know that ultimately I'm in love with you and no one knows it. And my situation is just really complicated right now. Let's get some charms for you. I'd like to grab a couple I can't see, but they're sometimes hard to navigate in this, this cup. My little charm. My little charm flower pot here. I like to keep things so he says flowers, flower pots. Whoopsie. You are my sunshine hopped out of the bowl. That could be a significant saying for someone. We have judgment. And we have the page of cups again, you guys. Well, I guess you guys had the ace of cups multiple times. But that page of cups is kind of really an extension of that, isn't it? The offer that's coming through, that valuable love offer, is going to be coming in out of the blue when you least suspect it. And as I said, you know, the communication card there, the Knight of Cups are both movement cards, are both, you know, putting things in motion. And what it wants to put in motion is this new beginning, this resurrection. Um, it's what really what this person wants is a start over because they feel like, again, they're burdened by it. They kind of feel like their emotions have been picked clean. Um, there is a call for closure for this person in the very least is what they want because look at them suffering here. We have police. They could work for the police. Oh, E and a spacer or L or I, I suppose. We have the guitar pick. I choose strength. It's about choosing to push past your fear, fear of rejection. We all have those fears in our life. We all want to be accepted. We all want to be loved. Um, but we'll never get to that point unless we love ourselves enough to step out of our comfort zones. Um, we have find the joy in the journey because that's truly what we're here to do. We're always focusing on the end result and what we want. But being joyful in the process is what life is. You know, being joyful on our way to abundance is what life is all about. We have this commandment from the Bible that said, Thou shalt not make... Oh, I can't even read it so... Sh Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. And I feel like that's about, you know, lying about your true feelings, lying about something that's important to you, um, denying denying something that's of great importance and that's what this person has been doing in the past is denying these feelings and they have they're tired of waiting they want to come forward they want that new beginning with you okay group number one that is your reading if this resonated with your situation please leave me a comment in the comment section please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell like this video if you enjoyed it it really helps my channel to grow um, otherwise, I just really hope to see you guys here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. Thank you for visiting me and have a great day. Bye, guys. Hello, everyone who chose group number two. Thank you for joining me at the Tarot Cottage today. You guys were drawn to the Rose Quartz or maybe to this beautiful green carnation. But either way, this is your reading, your urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you today? 
going to get you some cards drawn, some clarifiers, and then we're going to talk about this beautiful message of love coming through from your person on your mind. An urgent love message. What do they need to, for you to know right now? The five of swords is the first message out of the deck. We have the ace of wands. Fire energy represented Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Urgent love message for you. We have the nine of swords. Kind of creepy imagery <laughs> there. Now let's get some clarifiers for those cards for you. The five of swords clarified by the ten of cups. The ace of wands clarified by the ten of swords. A lot of air energy here too. The Nine of Swords clarified by the Eight of Cups. And on the back of the deck, we have the Chariot. Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit of clarity here for a moment. Okay. So what is this urgent love message from this person um, on your mind today? If we start with the back of the deck energy with the chariot here, um, I can see that your person's kind of in this decision making process when it comes to this connection. They're saying, you know, I, I, I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm not sure what to do. I don't know which direction to take. I have hiding my feelings for you. Um, and I can tell that with that moon imagery here, but I'm still holding out hope for this connection. And I, I want to. I'm determined. I have a lot of willpower when it comes to this connection. I want to make the right decision. Um, but I see that they kind of feel like it could be a no-win situation. They want to offer you so much love, but they're hiding that, that those feelings. And they're kind of, they want success with you with this world card. It represents success and closure. Um, but they're seeing, there's a lot of maybe arguments. Maybe there's been a lot of arguments in the past, a lot of fighting in the past. It just kind of feels like, like a no-win situation. And we have the imagery here of the earthworm. And the earthworm, it's important for me to mention that, you know, they are blind and deaf and they go completely off of vibrations. I don't know if this is a no-contact situation where you're not speaking or seeing each other. Um, and it kind of feels like a no-win situation and they're having to hide these feelings because of that. Could also be um, a message for someone watching that this person is currently feeling like they're stuck in a third party situation, they could be married to someone else and maybe started a family with someone else. And that could be why there is a disconnect here. Always take what resonates in these readings and leave what doesn't. Um, your person wants to tell you that they have a lot of, they're trying to formulate a new plan. They're trying to figure out a new plan of action towards you because they realize that, that the past, it hasn't worked out <laughs> the way that they want. And they, they, know that there needs to be a shift and change. We have this Ten of Swords staring at me, and this is a pretty sad version of the Ten of Swords. And I mean, I know the Ten of Swords is sad anyway, but this is a very graphic, sad, like they feel like everything. And I don't feel like they're seeing you right now. Um, with that earthworm imagery, with this bull, Taurus really represented, but seeing, you know, the sword through the eyes, I feel like they're, they're missing you. They haven't been, had a chance to see you. Um, but that Ten of Swords is about a call from spirit for you to release the, uh, an idea that your ego has become really transfixed upon, that you've had your heart set, set upon, but that old plan doesn't work anymore. And it's really done you in emotionally. It's really done this person in emotionally, but that ace of wands shows me that they haven't given up hope that they have. They're trying to formulate a new plan. They're waiting. They've made it through the darkness and they know that they've suffered a long time and they don't want that suffering to go to waste in a sense. Because they like, they're feeling like, I'm, I've made it through this darkness. We've been separated for a while. I haven't been able to be truthful. So now it's time to move on from these feelings. Because we have this Eight of Cups. It's about moving on, about motion, moving forward, away from deceit. Um, and away from pain. But it's time to use the dawn of that new day to formulate this new plan. And this, you can tell, like there's a lot of like gray casted. <laughs> it's kind of like this gray type of feeling with your person today but there's this shining light in the darkness that flicker of hope is still sitting there and that's because they don't want to release you they don't want to give up hope in this connection because they feel so strongly about you they feel so strongly about this connection um 
but it is currently giving them some anxiety, making them feel kind of trapped and they are feeling emotional. Like I feel like they don't know how to move forward. They don't know how to move this inspired thought into action right now. And that's why they're in this decision-making mode right this moment. But we're going to get some clarity for you. What does urgent love message? What does this person want to say? What is their next move towards you? What is their plan? Urgent love message. What is their plan? What do they want to say? We have the two of wands. So they want expansion. They want to move that ace of wands idea into a, a plan. And that's what they're working on right now. They're working on wanting to expand this connection. And they have passion towards you. We have the eight of wands. That is a swift change, a swift communication coming in. So I feel like they're going to reach out to you if you guys are in no contact right now. Um, that shows a swift communication coming in to reveal some of those passionate feelings. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius are really represented by the, all of those wands. Wheel of Fortune. Strong energies here. The Wheel of Fortune is about fate. It's a movement card. Your person has plans of action. They're formulating them right now. Like as we speak, they're making these new plans um, and they're going to communicate them with you. And I feel like that's going to happen very quickly for some of you. When you least suspect it, as well four of pentacles because they feel so possessive of this connection and ultimately they understand that we have a seven of swords at the back of the deck they've been hiding these feelings for you the hiding these feelings of feeling possessive over you they really want to offer you some information a new start a valuable offer is coming in and Ultimately, they want you to be happy. They want themselves to be happy. And they realize that this connection is something that can make that happen. So I see movement here from this person. They want you to know that they're coming forward. Meditate and contemplate. They've got some things they want to say, but they're trying to formulate that perfect plan right now with that ace of, of wands. They're trying to figure it out because their emotions are running super high and I feel like they want to be in more of a clear place before they take that leap. Take time to breathe out, to have that sure-footed plan of action. Um, but it is time to take action. It is time to take action once you have cleared your mind because it's time to heal this connection. It's time for some healing. <laughs> that poor Taurus there needs some healing. Love yourself first. A call from spirit that we don't know how to love others properly if we don't love ourselves. Finances and career could be an issue right now. You guys could be separated because of the coronavirus. Um, we also have some forgiving and learning coming in. It's time to release the pain of the past. It's time to release, you know, mistakes were made in the past. Whatever those mistakes were, were whatever those mistakes were. In some cases, I feel like it was like inaction, inaction um, in the past time to move past them because this could be a soulmate relationship calling in your soulmate it's time to keep an open mind when it comes to this connection maybe you feel like there's no way around some of the things that happened in the past it's not over till it's over we have the runner codependent relationship fear of is intimacy someone in this connection has had a fear of in intimacy in the past and maybe that's where all of that conflict came from but we have, if you keep a positive mindset, abundance can exist in this connection. Sorry, I'm a notoriously loud drinker. The Phoenix, it's time for a new phase to rekindle, to renew. If you're in no contact, it's time to be connected. It's time to reveal some truths um, because there's a lot of emotions to be released. We have the dragonfly spirit, be lighthearted, finding out things are going to come to light. And that dragonfly you know, it's kind of like the phoenix in a sense that it rises out of the depths. Like the dragonfly starts its life under the water as a nymph. It eventually it eats everything in sight. And when it's big enough, it kind of releases itself into the world. You know, climbs up some grass, releases itself into the air and changes form completely. So it's this beautiful symbol of renewal. It's a beautiful symbol of change. I feel like this person has grown from the time that you um, knew them in the past. And they want you to know that as well. Now, what is the love message? What is the love message? They want you to know that I'm watching you from the outside. If we're not connected right now, I'm still keeping you, keeping tabs on you because I do feel like 
I feel kind of possessive over you with this Four of Pentacles. I feel like you and I belong together and I'm hiding these feelings for you. I feel haunted by this connection. I'm thinking about it all the time. So much so that it's, it's kind of infiltrating my dreams with that Nine of Swords. I'm dreaming about you. I'm like having some nightmares. It's making me feel kind of depressed um, because I know that something's missing in my life. But I feel like in some cases I've made my bed and now I have to just lie in my decisions. Like I've had to suffer through the disconnect here and I want you to know that it hasn't been roses for me, that I understand that you are my soulmate or that this is a deep connection, um, that we are connected by some sort of weird invisible bond. But I want you to know that I want to see you again. That it's not just about, you know, a, a small desire because you truly drive me crazy. I want to be able to release some of that passion to you. I want to be able to um, heal, heal myself because I know that I made a huge mistake when it comes to you. And I want you to know that I'm coming forward. I, I'm coming forward with an offer. Um, I, I, I'm scared. <laughs> But I'm coming forward with that offer because um, I don't know how else to start this healing process. Um, we need to talk it out. Even if you reject me, we need to talk it out. We need to, to iron some things out because I really feel like, at the very least, I need some closure when it comes to you and this connection. I don't understand 100% about this connection, but I know that whatever our souls are made of, your soul and my soul must be the same because... I, I don't understand the connection any other way. I want you to know that I will, I will try to find you in whatever lifetime we find ourselves in. Um, I, you fascinate me. When I think about you, I just think, uh, you know, you fascinate me. And, and I, in some cases, I need you to take the lead. I want to come forward, but I'm scared. I wish that you would take the lead. I didn't really realize what we had when we had it. And I, I just, I spend my time in fantasy land now. You're, you're in my dreams. I fantasize about what I want to do with you, where I want to take you. And I want to know that, is it too late? Is it too late to come back and apologize to you for inaction? Is it too late to come back and speak with you? Um, is it just, is it too late? Oops, sorry about the wobble, you guys. That's a good beat. That's in the very bottom, too. Okay, so we have the Seven of Wands today and the Moon. So secrets, secrets and hiding, hiding those, those true feelings is represented by that moon card, but also fear. Um, the moon is about hiding your intuition, um, being fearful to move forward and shining things, putting things into the sunlight, putting things into the light, because there have been obstacles with that seven of wands that exist in this connection. And there are obstacles in the way. I feel like your person sees those obstacles, but they're willing to fight through. And that's what the Seven of Wands is about, is your ability to push through anything in your way. This person is determined, if you look at their face, I know I can't really focus it, but they're determined to push through. They're going to push past all of those obstacles. They're stronger than anything in their way. We have the chain, um, makes me think of devil energy, Capricorn, makes me think of a soulmate connection, just being tethered to somebody inexplicably and not being able to release those feelings we have this screw. Somebody wants to express themselves sexually. We have, oh, T is here as well. We have H, sorry, the peace sign as well. They want peace in their life. And I feel like they are kind of tormented a little bit by this connection at this moment with that nine of swords. You know, that truly does represent feeling overwhelmed, feeling depressed, feeling kind of um, anxious about the connection, losing sleep. Um, and they really want peace. Um, but we have the starfish imagery here next to the flat shell. And flat shells we have twice. Um, makes me think of the empress. Um, motherhood is represented by the empress. So I don't know if there's children on one side of this connection. Um, but motherhood, compassion, 
just a voluptuous type of queen energy sitting on your throne. It's about holding you on that place, that important place, that pedestal. It's showing up twice. So there's mirrored energy here. Like you hold them on a pedestal, they hold you on a pedestal. And yet it's weird. It's like neither the twain shall meet. Like the two of you have these feelings that are mirrored, but both of you are hiding them and holding back. Um, I wish I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. So that could be, you know, a real soulmate message from your person that if it doesn't exist in this lifetime, it's going to exist in another lifetime because you spent many lifetimes together. Um, always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But I also feel like that's a message for someone who maybe recently lost a loved one. Um, your loved one is looking over you. If you were thinking about them this morning, they want you to know that um, they're watching over you. That veil is very thin for them. They're not missing you the same way that you're missing them. Um, they get to see you all the time. They get to think, you know, they get to spend time with you. Um, it's just our inability to, to see past that veil, to see their presence. And maybe if, you know, to even feel their presence sometimes is really hard because our grief shadows everything. Um, but they want you to know that they're right there with you. They see you upset. They see you grieving. And they're going to hold you spiritually until they can give you that great big, huge, warm hug in heaven. Okay, group number two, that is your reading, an urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you? What do they have to get off their chest? Um, if this resonated with your situation, I would love to hear about it in the comment section. I would love for you to be a part of my community and join me by subscribing to the channel, hitting the notification bell. I do giveaways on this channel. I do giveaways on Instagram as well. So I would love to read for you one day for a giveaway. So please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. Otherwise, I just really hope to see you guys here on another visit at the Tarot Cottage. Bye, guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hello, group number three. Thank you for joining me today at the Tarot Cottage. You were drawn to this beautiful um, pink carnation or maybe to this red jasper. But either way, this is your reading, your urgent love message from your person. What do they want to say to you? So we're going to draw some cards for you and then we're going to, um, we are going to get some clarifiers and then we're going to speak about them. So we're starting out with the chariot and the two of cups today. Very strong, powerful, loving energies, urgent love message from your person, eight of swords, clarifying the chariot, the hermit. Major Arcana, clarifying the Two of Cups, Four of Swords, clarifying the Eight of Swords, the King of Swords. So air energy really represented. I also the Six of Cups wants to come out. And on the back of the deck, we have the Six of Coins. So let us talk about this person. I also feel like calling on this Ace of Cups at the back of the deck. So let's talk about it. What urgent love message does your person on your mind have to express to you today? So if we're looking at the back of the deck energy, the six of coins, and we have the ace of cups that flew, kept staring at me, um, they really want to balance this connection out. I feel like maybe they kind of feel like they're, in a sense, begging for scraps when it comes to this connection at times. Um, and I feel like this is someone from your past. It could be someone um, that you grew up with, with this beautiful six of cups energy. It's about nostalgic love offers coming back and it's about giving and being generous as well as is the six of coins it's about being generous about giving more than you receive and so I feel like this is maybe somebody from your past that really wants to come in and offer you you know an emotional new start with this ace of cups um, and I feel like you know their love for you overflows you can see that cup runneth over and that little creature in the sky is carrying the key so I feel like this person really feels like you are the key to their happiness and they feel the intensity of this connection. Um, but there is something holding them back from you. And we have this, you know, we're going to start over here with the chariot and the hermit. So the chariot and the hermit, both major arcana, which means that there are important themes to pay attention to in this reading. That chariot is about a decision to be made. And I feel like your person is holding out hope of this connection and has been holding out hope for quite a while. I feel like maybe this has been a disconnected connection for a while from maybe with that six of cups for, from years ago, perhaps for some of you. Always take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But the hermit is holding this star, all that hope and faith in this connection, kind of holding it close to its heart. We have the imagery of the um, dragonfly there, really wanting to bring this connection into a new phase, wanting it to grow 
and change. There's a lot of hope with this hermit energy here, but there is also a loneliness associated with it. So I feel like your person is in a decision-making mode right now. Which way are they going to go? Are they going to reveal themselves or are they going to let fear hold them back? But whatever decision they make, they want to, you know, they should make it with determination and willpower and charge into that decision. And I can tell they're really in decision-making mode right now because we have the chariot and the two of swords and both of them are kind of like, you know, this person's being pulled in directions. They don't know where they go. They don't know where they're safe. They're wearing that mask, so they can't even see where they're going anyway. And I feel like they are blinded by this connection because they feel the intensity of it. That Two of Cups is such a loving example of like romantic love. It's soulmate energy. The cups are runneth over here on both sides. You both feel the connection. Um, but they're kind of blinded right now in this decision-making mode of what, you know, so let's get some clarity on what is holding them back. What is holding this person back? What are they feeling trapped by? What is holding them back? Page of Swords. So they're watching you, wanting to reveal that truth. And that page, it's important to mention as well that the page doesn't have the confidence of the Knight or the King. We have the High Priestess in reverse. We have the Page of Cups. So they're holding back because they're unsure of how you're going to We have two of cups on the back of the deck. <laughs> I'm holding back because they don't know how you're going to receive them. And it's almost like a sense of, you know, with the page here twice, there is a sense of immaturity with this person. And I don't mean that in a negative, and I know that sounds negative and the word immature is a negative word, but there's just a lack of confidence and a lack of experience here. Um, they feel the connection definitely with the two of cups coming up twice is a clear indicator from spirit that this could be a soulmate connection for you. And, you know, they're watching your social media or your, you know, activity if you are no longer in connection with them. But that high priestess in reverse really shows me that, you know, they kind of had a clouded insight when it comes to you in the past. And they haven't been able to gain the confidence or the security in themselves to move forward and to really reveal their truth to you. And that inability to act in the past has really frozen them in time here with this Eight of Swords. It's frozen them in this fear of, of inaction because they're afraid to make the wrong move. And they're trying to be really logical with the King of Swords with their next move. They're trying to figure it out. They want to level out the playing field. They want to offer you that new start, but they're feeling trapped by their own decisions. They're feeling trapped by their own inactivity in the past and of their ex inexperience, I feel. But the Eight of Swords is an opportunity, and that's what I mean. If we see a negative card in the spread, we can look at them like opportunities. The Eight of Swords is not about, you know, it doesn't have to be looked at like it's an entrapment. You can look at it as I've trapped myself, I can literally walk away if I want to. I've done all of this through, you know, I've created this situation through dishonesty or through not revealing my truth or being fearful. So I can do the opposite of that. I can be bold. I can walk away from these swords. I can, you know, stand in my power and be the leader that I want to be and be truthful and level out this playing field and offer this new love offer. Let's get some more clarity. Their next plan of action. What is this person? We have celebration, four of wands. That is an indicator of twin flame. So celebration is their next plan of action is homecoming. So they want to come forward towards you. We have here the moon. Sorry, the hanged man. It's a very interesting depiction of the hanged man. Um, it's kind of like surrendering to the universe, you know, letting go of the things that aren't there anymore, letting go of the things that aren't serving you, letting go of the fear. You can hold, see her holding that moon in her hand. She can drop it. She can put it down. The next move towards you, eight, the stag. So the strength card coming out for you it's about quenching those fears inside so that they can get to this celebration um, i would rather have seen this spread kind of in the reverse you know um the 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 hanged man strength and then the four of bows over on this side but it still shows them you know making steps towards you of kind of taming that inner fear and we have the queen of stones 
the bear, the queen of pentacles, which shows that they really want and balance. Tem you know, we have temperance as well represented. So if they're able to quench those fears, if they're able, we have the world. <laughs> Guys, it just keeps coming. If they're able to quench those fears, um, if they're able to dig deep and truly put themselves out there, put themselves out on that limb, it's going to offer up a huge change, a closure, stability, success, world travel perhaps with this person, but most importantly, balance in this connection. Either way, if they are able to you know, reveal themselves, even if you didn't feel the same way, which I feel like you do, but even if you didn't feel the same way, in the very least, it would cause a shift of energy. It would cause momentum. It would cause closure and it would cause success. You can't like you, you can't lose if you're honest. Not really. You may be disappointed in the outcome, but ultimately you will find that the universe will bring forward what you truly needed in life anyway. But I feel like in this connection, there is a lot of room for success if this person is able to push past that fear and they're saying, you know, I'm coming forward. I'm ready to put down my fears because ultimately what I want with you is success, closure, homecoming. I feel the connection, you know, twin flames, 1111, two of cups here with this soulmate energy. They want to offer you stability, but they just have to quench those fears inside of them first. Golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So maybe they felt like this was a one-sided relationship in the past, or it's, it's a no-contact situation here. So we're we're dealing with people feeling like one-sided all of time, all of the time. We have the snake, competition, enemy. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Was there a third-party situation that kind of got in the mix of this? Heart with a key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together. And um, I wanted to mention, earlier I mentioned, where is that card? Over here. <laughs> I wanted to mention this card with the key, heart with a key. You know, we have spirit showing you that this person really sees that this is the key to your heart. You are the key to this person's heart. Abundance coming in for you. Keeping a positive mindset will, mindset will bring in abundance manifesting exactly what you want and feeling grateful is a great way to put yourself into an abundant mindset just being grateful for everything you have right now and sometimes it's hard to even look and find the things that we need to be grateful for because we feel negative or we are really focused on the lack in a specific area of our of our life but there's always something there's air, you know you're breathing air right now you're you're watching this video so you have the internet the end of a tough cycle approaches Time to step out of your comfort zone and that's what your person is going to do they're going to be taking a big leap of faith here shortly and offering you up that emotional new love offer adjustments are required and that's what they're really focusing on right now they're trying to figure out that plan of action because they are trying to protect them themselves that king of swords protects their heart you know they aren't emotional they're steadfast in their energy and they like you know they like truth and that aid of, of swords shows them kind of trapping themselves. So adjustments are required before they come forward. It's like an adjustment in attitude. Luck is on your side. And on the back of the deck, we have be bold and make the first move. And that's playing on your person's mind. We have on the back of the deck, I want to mention too, it says nothing is yet set in stone. And that's a real important message from spirit for everybody watching because... Tarot is very introspective and you come here looking for a clear cut answer, but oftentimes spirit wants you to know that your outcome is dependent on your actions on, and it always is. It's always dependent on your actions. New love, new love is on its way to you. This person wants to offer you that soulmate. You guys are so many indicators of soulmate energy in this pile. Pay attention to some of the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. It's a special message out there. We have also forgiving and learning. Time to let go of the things in the past that are no longer serving you. Now let's look at some love messages. What are these urgent love messages your person wants to express to you? Like a beautiful love letter. What do they want to say if they had no filter? The longing is eating away at me. It's been too long. <laughs> 
or saying, you know, it's been too long of me wanting you. I am haunted by us. And this card has come out on every single pile, I should mention. I am haunted by this connection. I think about you constantly. And I want you to know that I knew the very first moment that I saw you that you were special. I felt something inside. I felt a spark of electricity that I'd never felt before or since. But I am starting to lose a little bit of hope in myself. I'm feeling kind of stuck. Um, I'm feeling trapped in my current situation. I don't know how to fix things right now, and I'm trying to figure out that way. I'm trying to figure out a way to come towards you, a way to give you everything that you deserve, a way to give you everything that I want with you. And I want you to know that I am coming forward with that offer. I am coming forward. Um, I want to offer, you know, we have the Ace of Cups showing up here a lot, you know, and we have the Page of Cups showing up. They want to come forward out of the blue, I feel. You'll, you'll get, you will get an offer out of the blue when you least suspect it. I'm afraid of rejection from you, and that's why I am, I've been waiting around sitting on my laurels, but truly, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of not contacting you. I'm sick of not having you in my life. I want to be around you. I want I want you to know that it will never ever be over for me. And I have picked up the phone a million times and started a conversation with you, but I I've lost my nerve. I made the wrong choice in the past when it comes to you and I. I didn't believe in magic until that very first moment when I saw you and I felt that, that intense connection. And I want you to know that I fell in love with you before I even knew what love was and I was ill-equipped to handle my feelings at that time. But I, have, I need to know, you know, do you want me the way that I want you? I worry that this is all in my head at times. And in a perfect world, you would be mine. No one else compares to you. Nobody else compares to you. Sorry guys, this one was on the floor. <laughs> Any obsession is dangerous, you are mine. So what do we have here? The lovers. You know, the soulmate indicators just keep popping out for this pile. You know, you guys have literally every indicator. Uh, yeah, you guys have like four of wands, the, the two of cups, uh, the lovers, the soulmate oracle card, just so much soulmate energy floating around and attraction a lot of deep attraction here the lovers is also important to mention that it is a uh, decision card as well so this person is in decision making mode of how to come towards you that nine of pentacles shows security um abundance shows their opinion of you like maybe you really appear like you have everything figured out your life is really abundant you you know and that's intimidating to them but it's also appealing to them. Like they, they wonder, how did you do it? <laughs> and they're very attracted to you. We have here the Velveteen Rabbit. Rabbits are very, you know, jittery creatures. They are very observant. They understand what's going, around, going on around them at all times. Um, but they're very good at disappearing silently if they need to. So that's important um, to mention. But I also think of the Velveteen Rabbit when I see this little charm. And I think about a childhood connection. So you could have known this person for a very long time. We have in every fair from fair sometimes declines. A quote from Midsummer's Night Dream. It's about the bloom falling off the rose. About a lot of time passing between, you know, this connection and not having the truth revealed the way it needs to be. We have S as a letter today. We have a fish for Pisces energy. We have this uh, St. Anthony um, meda medallion here. St. Anthony was the patron saint of lost things. So this person feels like they've lost you, something very precious. Um, and the name Anthony could be significant to you. Catholicism in general could be significant to you. Um, we have the cactus. So I do feel like this is a no contact situation for some of you watching. The cactus is just about blooming with it without in a drought, <laughs> you know, blooming despite having not enough sustenance. 
Um, we have the mermaid. So you are a siren to this person calling out to them in the darkness. We have the forget me not, the patron saint of lost things. It's kind of all a kind of little wrapping up together here perfectly. We have the moon hiding those feelings, letting fear hold them back, blocking that intuition that they know, like you know where your heart belongs and blocking those feelings. We have the pentacle information, a valuable offer is on its way to you. The date on this is 1980 on this penny. And we have the yin yang um, imagery here. So another indicator of soulmate connection of two halves operating or yeah, two halves operating as one or the opposite. <laughs> um, but just strong indicators of soulmate, strong indicators of really deep connection here. And the arrow, of course, pointing this way, it's a good indicator of movement. Movement is needed. Movement is indicated by the pentacle, by a lot of your cards down here about wanting to make that offer, give you that emotional new start. So for some of you, expect an offer out of the blue from this person. Okay, group three, that is your urgent love message from your person. These are some of the sweet and wonderful things they wanted to say to you. These are some of their fears. Um, if this resonated with your situation, please leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification so you don't miss out on any of the videos I post. But ultimately, I just hope to see you here on another day at the Tarot Cottage. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye, guys.